Good morning, everybody. That's a total lie. <laughs> Good afternoon, everybody. <laughs> it is one o'clock here in sunny Las Vegas, and I have been working my ass off all day. Still got my concussion going on. But um, we have family coming in. For the 4th of July, which I absolutely hate that holiday, it could very well be the only holiday that you'll see me either way drunk or scrounging for when I used to do, like, take Xanax, get me on Xanax for anxiety, um, looking through my old prescriptions going, where is it, where is it, where is it, and jonesing, um, story time. Uh, there's just really a couple of things that I wanted to go over with you guys today. And to be honest, they're quite silly and really not important. So if you have better things to do today, by all means, you don't have to stay. Um, first story. When I was four years old, my father, uh, my real father was a fireman. My stepfather, an outlaw biker. <laughs> Talk about two weird ways of growing up, right? But my real father, being a fireman, this is when my mom and dad were still married, they confiscated a whole bunch of illegal fireworks at the fire station. So for the 4th of July, my dad, well, all the firemen did, okay, let's not, let's not lie, um, brought home this big brown bag. This is when groceries came in the sack, okay? this big brown bag of illegal fireworks and they were the bottle rockets and M80 and M100 I mean they were really huge okay um you only know that I'm colorblind but I also have a problem with my ears um I was born without the covering that goes like on over the eardrum to kind of muffle sounds and so to me everything is extremely loud um, so I've never liked fireworks. Uh, the dog and I, we had a little dachshund at the time. Hey, now I know where Beast gets it. He and I actually went in the bathroom and closed the door and I, I was crying. I was, I was four years old, terrified of these big boom, 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 you know, and my house is the one doing it. Okay. Um, and they had, my sister and, well, my sisters and brother had punks that they were lighting the fireworks with. And I guess my sister was done lighting fireworks. She threw the punk and it went into the whole bag. And it was like World War Three, Just pew, 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 pew. Bottle rockets everywhere. Um, M80s going off. You know, everybody running and ducking for cover and and they actually stuck up in the eaves of our house and caught our house on fire so fourth of july is not a real happy holiday for me um i will probably be in the bathroom with beast <laughs> and i will either take xanax or something to knock my dumb ass out because it is just it is a traumatic holiday for me and i don't know how to like explain that to people like I don't even like balloons on the off chance that they pop it really hurts my ears and so you'll see like little kids in a store or something and they've got balloons and I'm like uh, uh, uh. <laughs> I don't want to be here I don't want to be here and I will leave and I'm, I'm a sissy so yes beast absolutely is like my my soulmate dog because yeah, he's just the same way. You might notice that Mr. Bear is missing right now, just for right now. Um, he is in my Jeep, in the driver's seat. And y'all didn't even know, like, I had to, like, really push him to get him in there because apparently I'm shorter than Mr. Bear because I get in and out of my Jeep just fine, but I couldn't get him in. And so then I'd like put his arm up in the window to wave. 
one on one steering wheel. <laughs> Taking pictures of the bear. <laughs> anyway, but I wanted to like clean up my room before my family gets here. And uh, there's nowhere to put it. There's like nowhere, like I, I got the sheets in the washer now, but like this closet door and this over here, those are walls. My bed takes up my whole room. Like I, I don't have anywhere for Mr. Bear to go while I clean. So he's in the Jeep, he's, he's driving. I think this is the last thing that I need to touch on. Um, I asked you guys about the ASMR videos, okay? <clears throat> so I got a couple things um, today at the store, and one of them, you know, my thing is, it's like, I like the crinkly ASMR. It's supposed to, like, give you chills, like, tingles, like, happy tingles. Y'all are going to twist that, aren't you? I would too. I would totally twist that if I were y'all. I mean, this is this is too good to pass up. Go ahead, leave them in the comments. Um, anyway, it's supposed to give you tingles, like these these sounds. And so one of them is like I like the tapping, like this, like. Because it's almost like rain. And, like, a lot of people I've seen them use, like, their nails. But then I saw this nail as a really good idea. Okay, so that's the tapping. But also, like, they'll do, like, um... And like I said, to me it sounds kind of like rain. It's just really relaxing. Scratching. I don't know if y'all can hear it. Okay, and then the other, this these are like ideas from my very, very favorite, favorite ASMR chick, okay? Um, that's a total lie again. Shit. Okay, I have two favorites, and I, I linked them in a video before. So, um, one of her, her name is Emma, and her name is Whispering Reds. Whispering Red. And she's just, she's got that lyrical accent that's just, she's just beautiful. Okay, and then the other one is Gentle Whispers. And she's Russian, and she's got a really cool accent too, but different accents, and, uh, Gentle Whispers, is, her voice isn't quite as lyrical. I think maybe Emma might be Scottish, but I'm not sure. So it's a very cool accent. Anyway, one of my very, very favorite videos that almost exclusively I listen to at night is Tissue Paper. And it, um, it's her folding holding tissue paper, and, um, and smoothing it, So you guys let me know if you'd like me to do like a short little video and um, try my hand at ASMR. It's very quiet to relax you.
I just think the crinkles are so, so relaxing. And honestly, y'all, what I would suggest, I got this at the Dollar Bill store and I got it for Princess Sprout. Um, she's going to find it though and it's going to turn into hers. Y'all know that, right? Yeah. So, um, it was really inexpensive and just sitting here folding it for y'all and, and trying to be really careful, you know, so it's not ripping. It's, just, it's really relaxing. So yeah, y'all like, if you want me to do a video of the, uh, the ASMR type thing, give me a thumbs up or, um, or leave it in the comments. Because I think I'd like to try it. I really do. I don't know how good I'd be at it, but we'll see. Anyway, the other thing that I got were these um, floral gel beads. And I actually got them, I got more today. Maybe I should tell about the floral beads when I find out if I'm going to do an ASMR video. Because these are really fun to play with. And they sound so cool. So let me know what you think. If you'd like me to try... Let me know in the comments. Till then.